Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to go through our memes copywriter. To start off this lesson, we need to imagine a scenario that we are all in. Say we are all content producers and we wanted to publish a video on YouTube. So, we open Premiere Pro and start editing amazing content, but there is a massive problem. You don't know whether the memes are copyrighted or not, and YouTube being what it is, you know that it's going to be risky using copyrighted content. So, you don't want to get hit by this. Is it okay to use memes? It honestly depends on the meme, so let's look at the two case studies. Grumpy Cat is on the right with the owner on the left. Grumpy, Cat's, Grumpy Cat Limited sued a company over the usage of Grumpy Cat as a meme on a commercial product. So, this can conclude that commercial usage of memes are illegal. This means that you can't profit from memes. But that's a huge question, isn't it? We all know that companies can't use memes just like that, but can we individuals use memes like that? for the purpose of using, of creating videos. Well, let's just put that question aside and look at Doge. The Miss Sato with Kabuso is on the left here. You can see that they haven't set up a company for Doge, but they're both essentially the same thing. They're both memes. When can you use them? For specific images, these two specific images are pulled from Wikipedia and Doge is for fair use, which means that it is not under Creative Commons, but it is okay to use it for educational purposes, which is what I'm doing right now. So technically, it's not okay to use it for making videos, but then again, it's hard to say. For Brumby Cat, this specific image is licensed under CC 3.0. So what is CC 3.0? Creative Commons is a very special and new thing on the internet. It basically wants to break down copyright licenses. So you could put your work, your creative original work that you hold the copyright to under Creative Commons. There are multiple Creative Commons licenses out there. You need to read each and every one of them to understand what they are. But for the purposes of this video, we're going to go through CC by SA 3.0. Now, that's a lot to take in, so let's break it down. CC basically means Creative Commons, nothing more. 3.0 is the version of Creative Commons. They have to update it every now and then to keep up with copyright laws. So the number doesn't really have that much of an issue. The most important things you need to know is the words in between CC and the number, and the country specific to you. So by SA are two separate things, which is why they're distinct with a hyphen. There's a hyphen in between them. So by means you have to attribute the source, which means you have to state the name, the author of the image of the copyright holder. SA means you are able to share it. There. It says you are free to share and adapt, so it's that's what share as a means, share and adapt. So this is different from copyright the images itself. Copyright means you cannot use creative works without permission from the actual copyright holder. This means like music videos and memes themselves are f by default falling under copyright, which means you can't use it. So some memes are copyrighted for use in videos. You need to research the specific meme 
so that you know whether it's under copyright or under CC or it's just free to use for all. For further reading, you can scan this QR code or go to this link. This link, if you're on mobile or computer, just scroll down and comment. The link will be there in the comment section and description. It goes more in depth on the nuances behind this topic. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.